All right, everybody. Today we're going to be talking about the uh, Task Force Tip Pro Pack. This is going to be our foam pack, um, a way of distributing foam on the new engine. A um, couple things about it we'll go over here. See, it's obviously right here is going to be our fill lid. Uh, the nice thing about this item is this is interchangeable. We can show what kind of foam we're going to keep inside our Pro Pack. Um, we're going to keep it simple. We're going to, from here on out, buy 3%, 6% um, AR, AFFF foam. The nice thing about that is we can use it on A fires and B fires, and we can use it on anything with alcohol. So it's kind of like an all purpose thing. Um, so this lid just spins off, holds two and a half gallons of foam. We are going to keep foam in there at all times, just make it easy for us to deploy. Uh, back here is our inlet. This is just going to be able to inch and three quarter lines, so we can pull it off. We can take a nozzle off our trash line, hook it in, or we can um, deploy inch and three quarter just hook into it. Uh, back here you can see we have our hose. We have our three different nozzles that we have. Um, hose just comes off, snaps in the front. We have a medium to a high expansion foam nozzle. Uh, this is not going to get us very far as far as reach, distance, but it's going to put off a great deal of foam. Uh, real thick blankets if we need it, but it's going to be very short distance. It's going to be our uh, in between nozzle, I guess, of the two, we're going to get more more reach, uh, penetration, not going to be very much foam, um, a little bit, but it's going to shoot a lot further than what our high expansion nozzle is. And then we have our small nozzle, almost like a smooth bore nozzle. Um, this is going to be almost zero foam when you spray it, but it's good in case we have anything that soaks in, we can um, shoot it into the ground. Uh, it will agitate a little bit if you shoot it off the blacktop or after concrete, off of something, it'll get a little bit of foam, but not a lot. Uh, this would be something too that we'd want to use if we're hitting hot spots in an attic or someplace like that. We want to try to shoot the foam down through the, fo the uh, insulation. Then this would be the nozzle we'd want to use. So uh, make sure you guys get a chance to play with all those when you're out there. Um, here's the hose for it. So you guys will get a chance to play with it. It's easy. Just twists and snaps to hook it in. And then whichever nozzle type you want, you can put on this end. So just make sure you guys get comfortable with switching those out, how they click in, how they take off. Okay. Once you hook your inch and three quarter in, it's going to be 100 PSI and that's it. So everything else is in control with up here with how much foam you want to have. This is a simple twist, on and off. We'll keep it in the off position. You can go all the way open. If you don't like the kind of foam that you're getting out of it, you're going to do all your adjustments right here. This is meant to be uh, pumped at 100 PSI. It can still go down to 50, but 100 is the best, best for it. So, when you're out there, just adjust this a little bit with each nozzle, get an idea of how much you want to play with it, how much foam you're getting out, and how much you like with it. Also, we have up here, we have our settings. So, we have already switched this over, and it's already in the red, since we're going to be using um, Class B foam in here, basically, even though we can't use it on everything. So, all you guys will have to do is, is when you get it here, is just decide where you want to make your adjustment. Our foam is 3%, 6%. Uh, so you can get in here and make your adjustments 3% or 6%, and uh, it's going to probably always be a 3 or 6, which will be fine for you to use anyways. You won't have to worry about it. Uh, once you're done flowing it, 2.5 uh, gallons at 100 PSI is supposed to uh, give you 12, uh, 12 gallons of foam, um, and it'll 3 to 4 minutes of constant use uh, as much as you can. Uh, when you're done, you want to come over. We're going to pull the pins here. We're going to pull the pins here and it'll allow us to pick the entire unit up and bring it out. Um, and we're going to want to flow clean water through this. Um, go out the nozzle for a little bit. Make sure you work your knob back and forth here so it cleans all the moving parts out of the inside. Uh, shut it down, put your cap on, flow cool water for it again. That'll uh, actually clean out the, the intake that comes off the bottom of this. Um, then we can put foam back in it, store it that way. That's how it's going to be on the engine, it's stored this way. Um, so it'll be easy for us to deploy. Uh, if you have any questions, you can get with me. You can get with uh, Captain Seagraves, Mauer, uh, Assistant Chief Garber. We've all gone over it a little bit. Um, there are some small parts in here that can get gunked up. So if we don't do a good job of cleaning it after each use, then it uh, becomes a much bigger deal for us to take it apart to clean all the small parts. So just make sure you get everything rinsed out really well um, after you flow the foam.